Hello. You're watching Much Ado About Something today, and I'm Donna. Well, I'm in here in the bathroom. I just got out of the shower and got ready for the day, and I was noticing all the condensation all over the mirrors. Right up here is a little bit. You can see, of course, condensation all over your mirrors. You can see it on the mirrors, but actually that condensation is all over everything in your bathroom. That's why they suggest that you don't store your medicine in a bathroom, because it's moist. It's moist when people take showers in here. So... I wanted to give you a few tips. I've made a few shorts on how to keep black mold out of a bathroom, especially a bathroom if you don't have a window. I don't have a window. That's just a, a decorative stained glass window I've got hanging up there. But there's no window in my bathroom. It is just no window. Now, a lot of bathrooms that are in basements are like this. They don't have windows. But this one is our main bathroom here on the hall. Right here's the hall and... This is our main bathroom in the middle of our house. This is the one we've used for all these years, but there's no bathroom. Well, there's something that happens in a bathroom that doesn't have a window or doesn't have a, a natural light that helps kill mold and mildew. And I have to be real careful and I always have, and I'm in property, man. I was in property management for a while and I really saw a lot of mold and mildew in apartments that didn't have windows. And people, they said, I clean, I clean it all the time, but I can't get rid of it. And they would want to treat it like a structural issue instead of the actual issue that it is. And what it is, is that mold and mildew grow in certain conditions. Warm, moist conditions will promote the growth of mold and mildew in your bathroom or in anywhere, any space. So one of the keys to that is that you have to keep it... In a circumstance where mold does not like, like right here, you can see on this shower curtain that we have, we've got a heavy duty shower curtain. And mold likes to grow down here at the bottom. I spray this shower curtain down with peroxide, just peroxide that I've put a sprayer on. I spray it down with peroxide and I scrub it with a scrub brush. And I make sure I remove all of that black. All of that growth that's trying to grow on the shower curtain. I remove it using that peroxide and a scrub brush. It's going to grow and it'll grow pretty fast. And you don't want to be in here cleaning constantly. Peroxide will kill this uh, mold and mildew at its spore, and it will keep it from multiplying. And then I just have uh, disinfectant wipes here, and that's what I wipe my shower curtain down whenever I see any kind of little mold or mildews trying to sneak in and build up on my shower curtain. And so this is a process that you just uh, have to do to clean your your bathroom that doesn't have a window. Right here, some, you see it right here in the corners. I'll have to pay more attention to this, better attention, and clean this better with my peroxide. Sometimes in, I'm in a hurry and I don't get all the nicks and crannies. But peroxide will kill black mold and mildew. Just get a uh, toothbrush and scrub in there really good. I had to let a little bit build up so that I could show y'all how to clean it. The best thing to do is to prevent it, prevent it from growing. And it's amazing how fast it can grow when it's left in the right conditions. All right, now that I've got this cleaned, 
using my peroxide that I've sprayed on it and scrubbing it with my toothbrush and using the disinfectant wipes to wipe it down. And do that wherever you've got your mold, wherever it's at. It mine just happened to be right here in the corner of my shower curtain. Yours could be anywhere. A lot of times they, it builds up on the outside of the tub in different places. By cleaning with the proper things to prevent it, that's the first step, but it's not the only step. Now, if you notice with my shower curtain, I've got a space on, a space on each side of this shower curtain. And I, I try to flatten it out as much as I can right in here so that there's not any, anything growing in the crack, you know, in these pleats. As you've got your shower curtain hanging up, you've got pleats on the inside of this. And then on the inside of the shower, that's a good place where the mold and mildew starts inside of these pleats. So you want to just kind of stretch it out as much as you can. But on each side, leave at least six to eight inches on each side of your shower curtain. Keep your shower curtain kind of in the middle of the uh, whole thing. And this is why. There is not much circulation in this bathroom of air. I've got this little fan here that's up in the top. And of course, it's if you turn that on, when you take a shower, it'll draw a lot of that moisture up through that fan. But it doesn't it doesn't really effectively get as much moisture out of that room as it needs. I've opened that shower curtain six to eight inches on each side. And here's the door. And through this door, I have a fan. A fan right here in the playroom. And I've got the door open to both. Right here's the door, it's open to both. The playroom door is open, the bathroom door is open. This fan right here creates enough circulation and blows enough that it'll dry this bathroom out in just a matter of minutes. And so that fan is circulating air all through here. And air circulation is so important in preventing mold and mildew in your bathroom or any space, your basement, any space. Keep a fan that circulates air. Air circulation will dry faster than heat. It will dry something out faster than heat. So that's a good, a good tip for you to know. A simple, simple um, fan will keep the air circulating and prevent that and improve the quality of your air. And you say, well, I don't like the look of that, that thing. I don't like the look of those fans. It looks a lot better than black mold and mildew. Well, I wanted to share with you today about how to help keep black mold and mildew out of your home if you don't have natural light or natural circulation where you can open a window like in my bathroom or a basement area or any kind of closed tight area keep it clean peroxide kills black mold and mildew keep it good and clean wipe it down and disinfect it and have good air circulation that's two good tips that'll help you keep black mold and mildew out of areas in your home the cats playing with my feet. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Like always, until next time.